What am I? Sometimes I wish we still video recorded this so that I could see my own confusion at my own actions. The fear in your eyes. <laughs> or the pure confusion of the fact that I can't even predict my next move. I'm like, I live here. <laughs> like we clap every time. We clap every time. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Ellen. And my name's Alyssa. Welcome back to the Modern Singer Podcast. The start of a new school year for a teacher or a student is so exciting. New teachers, new colleagues, new goals, and my favorite part, a new planner. (laughs) Keep track of all in-person and virtual happenings in our modern academic planner. Specifically designed for vocal majors and teachers, this planner targets your singer-specific needs to keep you organized all year. All of the pages in this 53-page planner are undated, so you can reuse them every single year. Use it digitally or print it out and stick it in your music bag. Grab your planner in our Etsy shop today. The link's in our show notes. Let's break down the sections. The first section is our academic calendar to keep track of all your holidays, jury dates, performance dates, and you know what other dates that you need to put in there. The next page is our class schedule sectioned out by semester. This is a five-day calendar where your schedule can be broken out by day and time, so a little bit more detailed. We also have a section for course lists that are sectioned out by semester where you can track the course name, how many credits it is, your professor's name, and contact information. The syllabus breakdown is broken out by class and semester. The sheet outlines the week, what you're focusing on that week as a student or teacher, and even more. Our academic planner sheet gives you an overview of your course by day, class, time, and more. The homework tracker is broken down to each month so that you can track what homework is due or as a teacher, what homework you've assigned and when, as well as if it's complete or not. You can write down due dates. You can write down when your goal to start and finish it is. If you're a teacher, you can write down when you need to grade it by so that administration doesn't yell at you. You know, just like the little things. The exam outline sheet lists out what exams you have or what you're giving if you're a teacher, the date and what class it's for. This sheet is more of an overview. The second sheet of this exam outline covers each exam by day. It's a little more detailed. Um, You can lay out your schedule and have just a little more detailed version as well. The student tracking pages are is for teachers and this sheet tracks your student's name, contact information, and lesson time. The second sheet covers, you know, their goals, what rep you've assigned or plan to assign, and attendance, which is definitely key (laughs) as a teacher. I found this page super useful when I was just starting as a teacher too and I needed some help keeping my brain in one place with all of my different students assigning such different rep. It's one of my favorite pages that I still use to this day. Our pre and post lesson planner sheets covers if your student has made a payment or your game plan and goals for that student. Or on the flip side, if you are the student, you can track if you've paid that teacher for that lesson, how much it is, what your game plan is for that semester or for that lesson, what your goals are, as well as place a few notes in after the lesson. Up next, we've got a section full of practice planners, trackers, and logs. This is a place to track what you or your student practiced, wins that you have, what you need to work on, and a place to put the date so that you can refer to these over and over and track your progress. There's also a sheet where you can plan you or your student's practice schedule by week. Up next, we've got our role study sheet. This is one of the first sheets that I think I made for Modern Singer was this role study sheet that I actually used to track my roles when I have them. The first time I built it was when I was doing Susanna in Lenote di Figaro because she is a beast to learn. And if you forget something, you're in trouble. This is a great way to track you or your student's progress when you're working on a role. It breaks down a large role into smaller, more tangible sections, and it tracks your progress on prep and memorization. Our rep study sheet is more of an overview of you or your student's rep tracking and your progress without breaking it into smaller sections. This is great for arias and songs, especially if you've got a recital coming up so that you have a more overview look at where you're at in memorization and learning. We've also included a rep analysis sheet to make sure that you're in touch with your character. We have a masterclass note-taking sheet to track what you've learned at each masterclass, what you sang and who you sang with, as well as an important date sheet for an overview of important dates you need to remember throughout the year. When it comes to undated pages, we have so many. The first we have is our daily pages so that you can keep track of your daily schedules and your to-do lists. You can track your water and so much more. Our morning reflection page is to help you start your day with an overview of what you're thankful for, how you're feeling, and what you'd like to accomplish that day. 
Our weekly pages are also designed to give you an overview of what you need to accomplish in any given week. It's perfect to shove into your binder for that week so that you just have it with you all the time. We also included an undated monthly page to keep track of all your to-dos, goals, and deadlines. I love being able to break them down, break these things down by month, week. It's just, it's really great to kind of see an overview as well as more detailed view. It's also nice because sometimes you only need the broken down view and sometimes you only need the overview. Absolutely. We've included a monthly habit tracker just to make sure that you're keeping up with those monthly habits that you set forth for yourself. A chore chart to hold yourself accountable for all those pesky adult reoccurring things that you need to do uh, if you want to use that, as well as a password tracker, which I actually use all the freaking time. We have so many passwords to keep track of these days. Recording them all in one sheet will make sure you don't forget them and you can accumulate them all in one place. And it being on paper is a little bit more secure than having it on your computer just in case somebody can hack into it or, you know, access your files or if you accidentally share, you know, your Google Drive link with somebody. Having it on paper kind of like in a spot in your house that not everyone can access will just make sure that they're still accessible to you, but maybe a little bit more secure. Our networking sheet is designed to keep your notes and contact information for any new connections that you make in one place so that you don't forget a great connection or conversation that you've had. Our bill tracker is designed to make sure that you stay on top of your bills so you always know when you need to pay and how much. One of my favorite sections that we have is a blank notes section because I cannot (laughs) tell you how many times I have just needed to jot something down in the back of a planner and had nowhere to do it. Like I consistently, even in my teaching binder, I always have to print out blank notes pages so that I have a place to write down what the heck I'm doing, what I need to remember. And you can doodle, you can scribble down anything you need to know, any important information. Um, Sometimes I'll write down like important to-do lists and dates on there. And then at the end of the day, I go through and I clean up what I need to do. And I actually put it into my planner so that I have it organized a little better. The last couple pages that we included was a monthly mood tracker coloring page. This one is super fun and super cute. We love a coloring page. Oh, it's it's great. And it's it's because we included it because your mental health is very, very important. And coloring, mental health, it all just goes together. During the school year, as a teacher or a student, your mental health could take a back seat and tracking how you're feeling in a fun way makes sure it's top of your mind and top of priority. So what are you waiting for? Make sure your year starts off the right way by purchasing our Modern Academic Planner today. Grab your planner in our Etsy shop. The link is always in our show notes. Thank you so much for listening. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the show so that you never miss an episode. If you really loved this episode, we would love to see you tag us in your story so that we can connect with more of our followers. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. When did I turn into a mezzo? (laughs) Bye. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.